Hey, what is up? My name is Catherine, and I have turned watching Netflix into my entire personality. Today, we are going to be watching the first episode of Squid Game. I know you guys are waiting on Fear Street Part 2. I'm so sorry. I just don't have the energy to watch a whole movie right now, but I do have the energy to watch a single episode. I will do it, I promise, I swear. I'm also just really dying to see what all the hype is about because every other tweet on my timeline is about Squid Game right now and we all know I can't resist some good old peer pressure. If you're new here, you should totally subscribe and come hang out with me. We have lots of fun watching TV shows and movies together and I do my little silly edits and give my silly little comments and let's get started. <laughs> 죽는다. I'm like the 나는 opposite 나는 of athletic. 세상을 다 가진 것처럼. Oh, I know bitches are gonna be getting that tattooed. 이거 뭐야? 나 주는 거야? 네, 네 오늘 가영이 생일인 건 알지? 생일인데 선물을 다 하나 사줘야지. 돈 없다. Honestly, chic cabinets. <laughs> Me trying to hack into my sister's iPod Touch as a kid. Okay, so Bestie, like, for real, has a gambling problem. I'm real happy he won money. I bought this just for you. Keep your money. Okay, at first I was like, man, he really sucks. Like, stealing money on his daughter's birthday and it's not even to buy her a present. But at least he's using the gambling winnings to buy her a present. <laughs> Like, I just know from that haircut, that person has to be a feature. That hair is too nice for them not to come back. Or nor. Okay, Polar Express. Oh. That man is a vampire. That ring, licking the blood, vampire. Sir, <laughs> Shirt in the back. I need it. Literally half of the time I'm watching literally anything, it's just me saying I want the button-down shirt that like anyone is wearing. This kid is too good. I don't know. She's moving, isn't she? She's totally moving away. No, if anyone ever asks you if you want to play a game like that, you gotta say no. You have to say no. No, bestie, don't do it. Bestie, don't do it. Like, I know he does. I know that's the whole point. But I don't want him to do it. Speak to the fuck you do! Why? Like, you, it, you don't have a hundred thousand won. No. Wow. Not how I saw this going. 그럼 몸으로 떼우시면 됩니다. Oh, <laughs> you can slap me again and give me a hundred thousand. Like if I got off the train in New York and saw this, I wouldn't even blink. That's the thing. <laughs> like I know he's evil, but that guy is so hot. Bestie, take the money. <laughs> Oh, 
No, because every time I hit like accept on the terms and conditions for iOS, whatever the hell, I haven't done that in eight years because my phone won't update. But that's another story. I, I feel like that this is what's going to end up happening to me. That's a lot of money. Like if he had just said no to the original game, would the guy have just left? Baby. I like him so much now. She's totally moving away. That's seriously so fucked. I feel like it just shouldn't be legal to move out of the country with a child if one of the parents is still in the original country unless they did something like really wrong. Oh my god, Alison De Laurentiis. Like hell no. This vibe is horrible. I would never get into a vehicle with somebody wearing a gas mask like that where everyone else in the vehicle is past the fuck. No. Okay, so this is hell. Got it. Yeah, it's very much reminding me of Sorry to Bother You, where there's this like Amazon type brand and a lot of people get into debt into them and then they start working for the brand to pay off their debt, but it's basically impossible to pay off your debt. It's kind of giving that vibe. He just said, don't talk to him. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. That hair is too nice for them not to come back. Like, how is she a real person? How do some people just look like that? So pretty. What is the tea? The girls are fighting! No! <laughs> what was that? Okay. James. It's just two grown men squaring up on this little girl. Does this look like the type of place where somebody's coming to save you? This music is terrifying. So glad somebody is speaking sense. I feel like there was not enough panic in the room before the like guardian people rolled up because I just assumed that like a lot of these people were already here and that like Mr. Main character and the other people in his van are the only ones who just woke up here today. Every person in this room just got kidnapped. They're, they're really reading bitches for filth right now. This is also reminding me of Nerve. I was obsessed with that movie. Oh, hell no. I just so get the vibe that if someone said they wanted to leave, they would just be killed. Like, I don't think you can just go back into the real world after being in this room. Oh man, like imagine if this was just a museum and you could go play in this giant room. It's so aesthetic. It's like geometric Whoville. Okay, yeah, there's gotta be a ton of rich people watching this somewhere. Who the fuck is that? I love this man's lack of social boundaries. Like, no way in hell any game that involves 456 people all in one field, this is not gonna go well. It just is, ugh, chic. You can begin now. Why was that in English? Ugh, like, Places always just make the villain's whole vibe so visually pleasing. Okay, Truman Show. They're the same picture.
I sucked at games like this as a child. Like so bad. Oh, about to get shot. I dropped all my thunder duns. No. <laughs> this is terrifying. I would literally like, I would lie on the ground fully horizontal and just slowly roll towards the finish line. Stop, drop and roll. I oh, mean, I just know when this face reveal happens, it's gonna be a reveal. This is like the most disturbing thing. Like it's a giant doll. The possessed doll is really like, follow the rules, idiots. Does the hair blowing in the wind not count as movement? Like at least they know when it's gonna stop every time. I would not be picking fights right now. I'm like trying to hold still with them. Like I'm a Virgo, I need all the details. I wanna know how much movement sets it off. I feel like this is one of those like slow and steady wins the race type things. Like of course this drama, cause the stakes weren't high enough. Does everyone on the field just, yep. Like, I can't even imagine witnessing that many people die in such a short span, like completely unexpected. OMG, it's the wilds. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the second episode is called Hell. I love that. All right, y'all, that was um. intense. I was definitely very entertained and intrigued by that. I was left with a lot of questions at the end of the episode, which is good. That's what a pilot episode should do. It should make you want to watch the rest of the show to get more questions, which I mean, I think at this point I probably will. I don't know if I'll record all of the episodes as reactions or not. I'll kind of just see and feel out the vibe. I'm very intrigued because it only showed the one person actually watching and I really want to know. I'm anticipating some big reveal, some sort of like crazy backstory for why this singular person is putting on this really sick, sadistic show for themselves. And I, I like that we already have character dynamics building up. I don't know anyone's name. Uh, I'm really bad at learning characters' names. It's gonna be a couple episodes, I'm sorry. I'm also curious to see if as this goes on, if it's going to be fully on the game players the whole time, or if it's going to alternate between the game and then like his family, like his daughter and his mom and everyone like sort of wondering where the hell they went. I don't know how long of a time span this, I keep my laptops over there. <laughs> um, is it like six games back to back or is it one game a day? I'm really curious because they have that whole bunk bed set up and that kind of makes it seem like like you're gonna be here a while. You would not build 400 bunk beds just for like a quick little nap. Or maybe you would, I don't know. The players can have a little bit of kindness before they all die as a treat. Very interested to keep watching. If you've watched this, would love to hear your thoughts down below without any spoilers, please. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today and hopefully I'll see you in my next video, which will be Fear Street Part 2. I promise. I promise. I love you guys. Hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.